friends. It's that day. It is ink flight day. Um, I'm very excited about this. And despite me doing my best to clean my brush, the water is blue. It's exciting to wipe you off. Very exciting. It's fine. This is fine. So what do we have here? I have this has, is a bunch of Tomorrow River paper. Uh, I have Cole O ring cards. I have a Hobonichi Weeks. I have an automatic pen in size 3A. <clears throat> um, steel dip nib, a glass dip nib. And look, there was a paintbrush over there somewhere, okay? So let's go. Let's go. Oh, I have also an ink pad that has ink on it, which feels good. Appropriate is what it feels, Marianne. It feels appropriate. That can feel good. Okay. So, uh, hi. How's it going? Today's an exciting day because it's ink flight day. That's the only reason. Is that true? Maybe. Um, I also just had a really great lunch. So, there is a, there's like one restaurant in town that like, everybody raves about and somehow I had never been so I corrected that okay now we can open this and try not to look try not to look we have this we have this paper that's going away so we can't see it we have that we have inkies and an empty box. Oh, what are you? Heck yeah, look at that. It's a glass dip nib pen thing. Yeah. Psh, see you later. We'll try the new one. I wonder if I should give this one away because mine is yellow. I suspect they came in mixed colors. And is it yellow or is it like orange, yellow, orange, brown? Could there be a more perfect color for me? I'll be honest. It's kind of the color of urine or apple juice or blood plasma. And I do no donate plasma. So maybe I'll think of that with my urine pen. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Maria, get over it. Here, look at our cute little springtime inktopus. What you drinking, bud? Look at that. Mm, lemonade. Okay, and inks. Let's go. We'll try and do the peel. Rescue the tape. But, okay, we did it. It was, you know, I was only going to try so hard. That hard and no harder. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, what do we have? Oh, what? So, usually April, they do, like, guess the ink, but... We'll read. Let's look at what the paper says. Okay, I threw the paper away because we didn't want to spoil. <laughs> well, the paper is definitely a joke because it says Mont Blanc Meister Meisterstück 149. I don't know how to say that in German anyway. In collaboration with one of the world's most prestigious brands of writing instruments, Montblanc graciously provided their top-of-the-line flagship fountain pen to every one of our Ink Flight subscribers. Blah, blah, blah. April Fool's. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Now we have Hyper April. No fool in this year. Ugh. Ugh. You've broken my heart, Ink Flight. 
unsubscribe. Just kidding. But I am sad about it. So here we have. Oh, well. Ferris Wheel Press, Central Park Greens. My absolute favorite, Ferris Wheel Press, The Purple Jade Rabbit. <clears throat> Laban Aries. Now this I'm excited by because I am an Aries. That explains why I'm so warlike. Um, Diamine and Colt Pens, Taj Mahal. Diamine and Colt Pens, Coliseum. Colorverse, this says Minhua series. Dan Huang. Oh, wait, I read this out of order. It's supposed to be Tang Peong and Dan Huang. Hopefully I'm pronouncing those right. Chances are high I am not. Hope you appreciate my effort, friends. Let's go. Do, do, do. I know one of these inks. Purple Jade Rabbit. I am familiar. I want to, like, open this. Can we do that or is it going to be, like... Yeah, we can open it a little. There we go. Let's go, let's go. Oh gosh, hitting things, knocking things over. It's fine. How about we move you a little closer? Mm hmm, mm hmm. That ring's great. Zoom over here. I don't usually zoom when I do this, I think, right? Do you even know what you usually do, Maria? Or does it take you by surprise every month? Well, you know. Call me, call me. So, Ferris Wheel Press Central Park Greens. This lush, grassy green is inspired by Ferris Wheel Press's trip to New York City in 2022. I went to Central Park once. It's big. I'm close to giving up on writing on this, on these cards with this dip nib. It is torturous on these new cards. Torturous. Because it, yeah, because of the texture. It doesn't, it doesn't fit. It doesn't reach the ink, everybody. It's fine. It's, it's totally okay. <laughs> we got there. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, this is a scratchy one. Maybe it wants us to write like this. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. Everything about that is so good that I'm going to just wait and savor that later. I just obviously I'm, it's the food. I'm feeling too stuffed full of Cubano and French fries.
this is not much better. I, I think I might, might have mashed it. Is this the color of grass? Well, theoretically, it doesn't. No, they describe it as grassy. First World Press just says Central Park Greens, which means to me that it's like an amalgam of all the sorts of greens that they saw. To me, it is not a grassy green, though. It's a... Pesto green. And I'm not saying that because I'm hungry, okay? I just ate. <laughs> I mean, am I ever not hungry? Um... Then we have, next, next, Ferris Wheel Press, The Purple Jade Rabbit. Celebrating the Lunar New Year, this delicate purple ink has a pelt of shulver, shulver simmer. Everybody, shulver simmer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stand by that. I mean, theoretically, I do not need to swatch this again. I have swatched this, but you know how it works. Torturous. It actually took me a long time to realize that torturous and tortuous do not mean the same thing. Show your hands in the comments if that is something you just learned right now. No shame. Or at least no shame for me. Yeah, this is exactly what I expect. Press. Okay, shake, shake, shake. I'm, I'm waiting for a year of the snake. We had, we got a, we got a man down over here. It's fine. Get back up. Up on your feet, soldier. Ooh, that's some nice stuff happening right there already. That looks like probably it was a fingerprint. Part of me wants to color that in. But no. Let's leave it. It's pretty. It's pretty. Look at how much shimmer is in the word purple. I have to say, ink flight days are delightful. Because it's just really great to swatch inks. You know, to like, just play. You know? If you've never done it, I recommend it. See what you think. Because it's kind of like doing art. Like when you're a kid and you're doing art and you don't necessarily worry about if it's good. You're just having fun. Like finger painting with chocolate pudding. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, next up, there's a lot writing on you, little one. Laban Aries. Show me that fire. Or blood. God of War. Kind of want to like draw something there, but let's be real, Maria. I'm not an artist. It's not the right space for a flourish. I could write it here. No, I always write it above. Move on. Let's go. Oh. Mm hmm. Well, tell you what, this Aries approves of that red. It reminds me a lot of Red Dragon, so I may dig out my swatch cards and see how it compares. As long as I didn't put them somewhere, it was sort of difficult to get to. And what did that say? From the Greek mythology collection, this cherry red ink shades with a hint of sheen. Um, cherry red? No, I wouldn't eat those cherries. They're not quite ripe enough yet. Uh, maybe like sour cherries. Probably depends on your cherries. We don't really get cherries here. We get there are sour cherries here. Um... So next up, Diamine and Colt Pens, Taj Mahal. Part of the Wonders of the World collection, this deep blue color draws inspiration from the lapis lazuli stones found in the mosaic art inside the Taj Mahal. I suppose that's good because the alternative would be like a white ink. This is the best word I have ever written in my life. This feels like it's going to be dry because of like how saturated it is. If you know, you know. You ever want an ink that's just blue? Good news. We found it for you. This, I think, is like a really good phthalo blue or Prussian blue. It's beautiful. There's a part of me that's like, do we really need any more, like, blues? 
like that are just blue. But I guess the answer to that was, yeah, at least one more. Um, plus, if you're a fan of blue, you're going to notice like, oh, but this one is slightly more red leaning. And that's going to matter. Um, next up, Diamine and Colt Pen's Coliseum. This light sandy brown color represents the travertine limestone building materials used in the Coliseum. One day I will see that for my own eyes. For my own eyes? Well, yes, for them and with them. Oh, did you hear that scratching? Mmm, that's how you know you're having a good time with a dip nib. That's a lie. It's been sunny here, and it has been so rainy that it feels like, okay, when's the other shoe dropping, right? Like, when is the rain coming back? Oops, I spelled it wrong, but that's fine. We'll make it look intentional. Um, hopefully we won't get that much more rain. I feel, no, I feel like I'm not allowed to say that. I feel like I'm not allowed to say it. Like I have to always be like, yay, rain. That's not how I feel on the inside right now, everybody. I'm tired of it. It's the rainiest winter we've had since, like, the 1880s. It's so much rain. This reminds me of Arena Blanca, except mm, this is, like, to my memory, greener. There are just so... I'm irritated with myself for having bought two packs of these cards. You know what's really nice is the sun is right there. So these cards are drying quickly. Next up, Colorverse Tang Pyong. This series observes the six kings of Korea's longest imperial dynasty. This color is a shading dusky purple. That sounds lovely. I just like wiped all of the ink off. Excellent job, Maria. Excellent job. Proud of you. Proud of you. Just dip it again. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Probably you can hear my neighbors. I hope you're enjoying that. <laughs> they are lovely people from what I've seen of them. Cute little kid today. They were outside and I when I went to get the mail and the little boy says to me, what's your name? <laughs> Maria, you have pink hair. I do, yes. Mm -hmm. But you see, it comes in it brown at the top. It doesn't grow this way. <laughs> I do kind of love that about kids. Like, you know, they... They're not afraid to, like, comment on the fact that, y'all, my hair is really flippin' pink, right? Like, it, I, yeah. I wonder if you could see me from, like, identify me from a mile away just based on that. You know, like, it's it's really bright. Um, and 
adults, it's like they try not to notice. But y'all, like, you don't color your hair this color and be uncomfortable with people noticing you, right? It doesn't mean people should be mean to you about it, but it's really, it's really pink. <laughs> but kids, they'll notice the number of times that I'll pass people on a walk and then hear like a kid whispering, mommy, that lady has pink hair. <laughs> Good job, kid. Good job. You got it. Cause like, they're learning colors. I think it's possible some of them say that person and not that lady, which is also an interesting change, right? This purple is gorgeous. It's bluey. Now, ending with color verse, Minhua series, Dong Huang. From this Minhua series, inspired by Korean folk art, this Pale gold ink captures the softness of a lotus flower. Ending strong for me, huh? It's funny how like yellow inks in the container so frequently look like they're going to be mm, pink <laughs> or orange or something, you know. Same with food coloring. It's probably when I first noticed it as a kid, right? Yellow food coloring. You're like, what wizardry is this? Okay. That is the last of them. Swatched. Now they're all drying, and what I'm gonna do is just pause the video for a moment and grab my swatch cards. Okay, here we go. Zoom out. Now <laughs> you can see like the mess that surrounds this um, box. I didn't use my automatic pen. I think I never do. Question mark from right myself. Because I thought I would use it here, but then I didn't. That's all right. So, I was going to make some comparisons. First off, this the water is beautiful. Um, let's line them all up. This is the part where we play the memory game. Can we remember what order we did them all in? Answer yes. I'm going to have a cheat sheet right here if I need it. <laughs> so here is our month. It's not a cohesive color story, but I don't need it to be. Um, the Timor River on white is still drying. Here they are on on this cream paper. I'd say they look mostly the same. Right? The um the warm colors are gonna appear slightly warmer. And hold it in the sun. There is a touch of gold sheen in this and of red sheen in this. Obviously the shimmer shows wonderfully. 
but I don't see anything of note on this one. This one. Um, come on, where are you going? You just gonna go there? Great, thanks. Now, that I was saying maybe was like Red Dragon. Close. Red Dragon's the better one. I feel I feel sad saying that. I want it to be Aries. But I like Red Dragon more. It is richer. Laban Aries is a great red. And it does have like they have similar darknesses. Now this reminds me maybe of 767. Mm, but I think you can see the difference. So 767 is cleaner. This is maybe like halfway between. Oh, gold green. I like this green. I mean, as greens go. Um... This reminds me of that one that I never know what to call it. Is it blue? Is it purple? It's called blue. Hmm. Purpler. What about midnight? No. I can't do I can't do this all day. Let's see what blues I have that are close to Taj Mahal. So let's compare it to nitrogen. This is deeper, way less sheen. Ice rink is pretty similar. Color versus KSLV2. No. They're close. And then it's possible that my swatch card for that Arena Blanca is elsewhere. In the in the big stack that I have for um, 30 inks. So. Oh, and one of the cards just fell off the table. Let's pause. Okay, I dug through and I found a couple other comparisons. So, Krishna Sindor. This is more orange, like mm, tomato. So not orange, but you know, more orange. And then I think Dominant Industry Sunset versus Purple Jade Rabbit. These are pretty similar. They're not the same. I'm going to look at them in the sun. Sunset is more legible and warmer. And I thought this... Jaguar. I'm guessing that that was how they pronounce it. Jaguar King. This is a shimmer ink and not at all close. And Arena Blanca and Coliseum are honestly quite similar. If this is anything to go by the Arena Blanca might be more legible. So those are our quick and dirty comparisons. Um, and last, before we go, we'll look on the white to more of a paper. Hey. What you're not seeing 
is the shimmer on this, but look at that Aries on this paper. That is gorgeous. I don't know that it would look like that in the writing, but ooh, beautiful. And it, there's a little bit of sheen in the, um, the Taj Mahal color. Red sheen per use. Um, and I think it would, my guess is it would come through in really heavy writing applications as like a halo. That's just a guess. Look at how fun this is though. Oh, it's such a pretty, that would make such a pretty flower color. Hmm. Anyway, so here's our, here's our uh, ink flight. This and that and, oh, I already moved the dip nib. I'm going to take a look at that dip nib up close. Um, frequently they have a s sweet spot and then once you find it, you just hold it the same way every time and it works great. But, you know, I don't want to faff about with that when I'm trying to make a video. So anyway, what do you think? Which of these is your favorite? Are there any that make you think, ooh, I want to try that? Let me know. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.